This from my home state of New Mexico certainly makes me proud. Cop used taser gun on 10 year old boy. How the fuck does that happen? How the fuck do we get head? Like, really? Really? You know how kids are. No, tell me. Tell me, Allie. When the fuck does a 10 year old need to be tased? Could it, could it be when, when he refuses to wash your car? That was the issue here. Now, a lot of people have heard about this incident from the headline, cop used taser gun on 10-year-old boy, but you could actually double the length of that headline and triple the impact. Cop used taser gun on 10-year-old boy for refusing to wash cruiser. Get this, a New Mexico police officer used a taser gun on a 10-year-old boy to demonstrate what cops do to people who don't follow orders, according to a complaint Heard by a Santa Fe court Tuesday. Yes, my hometown. This is from, from Natasha Leonard at Salon.com. Officer Chris Webb was attending career day at Tularosa New Mexico Intermediate School when he sent 50,000 volts of electricity into the child's chest on the playground. Now, this was not a demonstration. And this language here is a little misleading. I don't know if this is what they're trying to pass it off as. Oh, it was just a demonstration. No, it wasn't like there was a, an assembly and someone volunteered and it was like controlled environment and done safely because you still wouldn't do that to a 10-year-old. The young boy blacked out and has, according to his legal representative, been suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder ever since. The officer faces a civil suit. No shit, yeah. To a 10-year-old getting tased in the chest, you're going to cause a little PTSD with that, maybe? It's just, it's also interesting that he did it on the playground, too, just... Because why was he there? That's why was he there? And that's, you know, where bullying happens, I think, pretty common. And the idea that the cop comes out and it's like the hero being being I bet being at a school again. And it like reminded him, you know, a lot no. of cops, I think, are who do you think the cops wants were to be the, the, the righteous hero taking out the bully? Right. The cops were the insecure. No, they're ones. the they are or they the, bullies. Were the bullies. It seems yeah. like they've traded in the school bully for the bigger bully. Well, only dressed in blue. If only that was the case. According to the complaint, Webb shot his taser at the child, referred to only by his initials as R.D., after he said he did not want to join fellow classmates in cleaning the officer's patrol car. Courthouse News reported, quote, Defendant Webb responded by pointing his taser at R.D. and saying, Let me show you what happens to people who do not listen to the police. Webb then shot two barbs into R.D.'s chest. Both barbs penetrated the boy's shirt, causing a, the device to deliver 50,000 volts into the boy's body. Defendant Webb pulled the barbs out of the boy's chest, causing scarring where the barbs had entered the boy's skin that looked like cigarette burns on the boy's chest. The boy, who weighed less than 100 pounds, blacked out. Instead of calling emergency medical personnel, Officer Webb pulled out the barbs and took the boy to the school's principal office. And he claimed, after this incident, that it was an accidental discharge and was given a three-day suspension. Now, oh before God. we get to the actual significance of, of what happened, let's accept the bullshit. Let's accept the officer's story, point blank. You have an officer who is, point blank, putting a taser at a kid's chest, a 10-year-old boy at school, and you give him a three-day fucking suspension, I would say for flagging a kid like that, a cop should be seriously reprimanded, if not fired. But the fact that he fired it, that it was, that, that he put his finger on the trigger in violation of basic, now this is for firearms, at least safety protocol, you know, never point a weapon at anything you do not attempt intend to shoot. Keep you know, treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you are ready to fire. Make Keep sure your weapon on safe until you are ready to fire. The target. Okay, that's not relevant here, Caesar. Oh. Well, okay, maybe, maybe he was in front of a crowd of other kids, but I don't think that was the case here. He shot him point blank in the fucking chest, and he claimed it was an accident. I'm pretty sure the the tasers that cops use, because they're really hardcore, have safeties on them. So a violation of at least two safety rules, if his story is fucking true to begin with. Is it child safeties? I mean, what's the point of those if they're using them on kids? <laughs> I just, who's the victim here? Like, the victim of the, the cop? Child. Like, you have a dirty No, no, car. you mean, that would, the, 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 who's the victim that would necessitate yeah. the order in the first place? Yes. Exactly. The cop was so wrong. It was such a crime to not blindly obey 
the orders to clean his car. Now, I want to know how the fuck this even came about, that kids at a public school... Were asked to clean a patrol car? What the fuck? fuck like, is that what does a patrol car get dirty with for one thing like vomit from drunks and <laughs> probably, well, probably like just blood. All, the, all the gas fumes because they leave it on all day so just the black smoke <sighs> tithering on the this is paint. one of those things where you're like yeah if you're not from new mexico you wouldn't understand and it's like uh, it's one of the only in new mexico kind of stories that this could even happen in the first place, but I, I mean, I, I is there like a different attitude that they have there in New Mexico. I don't know. I hope they string this guy up by his balls because there's an attitude for justice like that as well. But I don't think that's going to happen. But if I was the parents of this kid, or uh, I, you know, I don't know where, what I would be. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know. No. What would you do if your kid? If your kid? If this was your kid, and you knew the cop. I mean, I, that, that could be brain damage. I mean, you're take 10 years old. It is. It is. It is. No, a traumatic experience at that age is uh, effectively stunting brain growth. Yes. Unbelievable. I mean, maybe not significantly, and you wouldn't clinically call it brain damage, but yes. That is the effect of trauma on a developing mind. I mean, I would, I would, yeah, I would think that being tased would be a big deal. Like, I mean, for an adult, I think it's like, you know, killed adult people. I'm shocked that this kid st- survived it. I tell you what. If I was armed, and most of the time I'm in New Mexico, I'm open carrying. If I was armed and I saw a cop tasing my kid, he would be dead. As long as he's got the barbs in his chest, that cop is fucking dead. I think a lot of parents probably feel the same. I, I don't blame you for saying that. And he'd be lucky if, if he gets away with it in the moment. And nobody there is armed and looking out for the public safety. But if it was my kid, I can't say I wouldn't be tempted to go hunt him down afterwards too rather than waiting for the the, the legal system yeah. to take care of this guy because what are they going to do they're going to give him a three-day fucking suspension where three the hell were the days. uh teachers during all this anyway not that i have the you know strongest of faith in teachers to look out for the well-being of the kids but something they were swatting away all the kids who were trying to videotape it so they wouldn't get it on video I so. but that's just that's <sighs> sickening man i mean i can't believe it I mean, for one, the fact that he's 10 years old, how can you ever justify any actions that he's doing for a tase with however many bolts of electricity? And second, the fact that it's because he didn't wash his car. Like, yeah. what would be the reason that he has to wash your car? Like, did he call you a slur? Or you got to teach him to clean up your potty mouth, so you got to wash my car? Like, what could justify a cop? Or doing anything as remotely like that. So, I but mean, you know, the fact the fact he got a three day suspension, everybody, everybody in this guy's chain of command should also be immediately fired. Maybe maybe not punished. Oh, so it's but, the cop. Oh, I thought first that you said the kid got a three day suspension for not listening to the cop. No, the cop got a three day suspension. Oh, wow, that's nothing. And it, what for pay too? What did you probably pay vacation? Yeah. Wow. I, that's I, usually. I mean, they don't. They it takes a lot. To get a cop fired. So this is Officer Chris Webb still on the force in New Mexico. And uh, I, w- I would hope that, you know, there would be some level of accountability that people would... Le- I mean, if nothing else, we can call him out for it. Make sure that everybody in his community knows who he is, knows that he's a threat, knows that he is uh, someone not to, be in or not to be dealt with, someone to be, someone to be ostracized from society, someone to be voluntarily shunned. I think that's... Like, really, this is a guy that should effectively not be allowed out in public like if, if he's out people should run the other way this guy's this guy's a menace we should instead of having a segment stage of the week we should have the person of the week that we want to ostracize like back in athens where you could vote for someone you want to exile from athens and then that's you, a good point i mean we should do I that because like i think we have we found our first winner no kidding well phew, not Officer our first Chris Webb. certainly not our first <laughs> You just have to get one neocon at a time no, no, no. to put down to, the guns of the government. Don't. You, as a free, beautiful, independent human being with inalienable rights, own yourself. Why don't you sit down and like study some of the things that Mitt Romney actually teaches? 